Danny Flexen here for seconds out with Frank Bruno, the legendary former world heavyweight champion. Frank, you're here today with Daniel Dubois, yeah. spirit of Christmas. What have you had to say to him today and, and how's he getting on since you last saw him? I went to see the army boys in, in Chelsea, the army barracks, and it was very, very good educational today. The guys looked after us very, very well. But we just done a um, press conference and we just came down to this wonderful gym to meet some youngsters and just spread some love and to give Daniel some tips and having a laugh today, to be quite honest. You've become something of a mentor to Daniel in the last year or so. How much of a boost has that been for you at this stage of your career that you've got someone you can now pass all that knowledge on to? I would pass my knowledge to, to a guy like this. Well, any boxer that comes to me and wants a little bit of help, I'll pass my knowledge on. You know what I mean? I don't deal with colour, creed, weight or size or whatever. But Daniel is a very, very lovely guy. Beast in the ring, big old lump, and he ain't even developed yet. So they asked me to try and help me. They're helping the Frank Bruno, the Peacock guys, the Bells and that. So, you know what I mean? I, I, I'm willing to help Daniel. So he's a good listener and he's, we had a laugh today. How much does he remind you of you in your younger days, mainly because of the support network around him and the yeah. closeness with his family, the respect he has? Mm. It's nice to see, you know, I mean, today you see youngsters and you hear of youngsters doing a lot of crazy things, but this is a prime example. Andy Jeffrey the other day um, had a big, big fight. He used to be, uh, you know, I mean, on the street doing whatever he'd done, got his life round together and he's doing very, very well for himself. And good luck to him. They're, 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 the, gener they're, they're the, the, the future generation when I was. But now these are the original future, you know what I mean? 22, Andy Joshua's 28, they are the future out there. So the youngsters out there and need to take heat from there's much more better ways to make money than to go and try and rob somebody or to try and be a pharmacist out on the street doing crazy things and getting themselves locked up in and out of prison. So they're, 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 they're the, the youngsters and they're the future. How much time do you spend now kind of talking to the youngsters either in schools or events that are set up and would you like to do more of that sort of work? It seems like something you're really passionate about. I do a lot of work. I go in prisons, um, black history, go in prisons just to go and try and talk to the youngsters, try and advise them. Sometimes you can they, they get on the wrong path, wrong sort of like crowd or whatever, but there's much more better ways than to be in and out of prison most of your life. There's much more better ways than to, just to you gotta get up in the morning and see what we can nick now or do what we can do. There's ways of making money. In my day, it's a different level of making money. I thought in the Tyson day, that was a load of money, but it's gone up a different notches for people to make real good corn now. So there's much more football you can make, do very, very rugby you can do well. But the youngsters, it seems like we're just hearing that one's got killed that one got shot, that one got stabbed, this one got robbed, it's just crazy. You need to pull in the reins and get alive. There's a lot of jobs out there. What you can do, you can make a little bit of decent money and you know, live a life without no fear. But it, it seems like you've got to fear everyone or watch somebody or feel nervous about certain different things. No, you need to pull the reins in and keep away from all the youngsters. Do you see that as kind of your role in, in life, in society now, as kind of an elder, someone to guide the younger guys away from the wrong path? You can guide youngsters on the right path if they're willing to listen, but if they're rocky, then they, they set themselves in a, in, a, in a bubble where they, you know what I mean, they make their own slang up and come out with them different rubbish and you try and talk to somebody and they, they go on like the night or you just leave them alone. But there's got some youngsters coming in now and it, it, Youngsters, they're the future and they're willing to learn and to get on with their life and they're learning life skills and discipline and manners and they know how tough boxing is. Boxing is a good good leveller, you know? Not only to go in the ring, just get the, the bits, get the, hit the bag, pad, skip, you know what I mean? Do the exercise and get your mind strong and disciplined. So if you've got that discipline in either doing karate, if you've got that discipline either in football or whatever, you show youngsters how to, you know what I mean, leave the nightclub alone, leave the gambling, leave the girls alone, leave the drugs alone, and concentrate and get your life together. Now Frank Bruno, switching tack a little bit, Christmas, Yeah. how will you be spending it? What are your plans for the festive season? Grand grandchildren now, so I'll be spending a little bit with the grandchildren. I'm just chilling out at home, you know what I mean? I've got a girlfriend and um, they got kids and just chilling out and just relaxing, watching television, 
recharging my battery and just just unwinding, you know, just 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 recharging the batteries with a busy year, put my foot up and just relax and get get fatter and go in the gym and run like the police is chasing me. Well, I was going to ask you about the food aspect because you are super fit, especially yeah. for a man of your age. It's well, so impressive. Cheers, how much? Yeah, you're welcome. But how much does it kind of? How, how much? How much leeway do you give yourself over the festive season? Leeway. I'm always nicking a little bit most days. I've got my bag with me in, in the car, so I've got to go and do another job for the Frank Bruno Foundation. After I done that, I go to the gym, nick a little bit, hour and a bit, steam a sauna, and that that's gone. So it leave me room. So when I want to eat. I don't get too pregnant. <laughs> so I'd have to go to the toilet and do some combinations and to get rid of the baby. But I just nick a little bit most days and just try and keep it real. And you used to do a lot of pantomime, of course. Are they some of your happy memories now when you look back on it, the, the kind of getting involved? Happy, you know. One of the things about Danny Dubois and whatever, they've got to set themselves up for when they're finished from boxing. Yeah. I had a good teacher in Terry Lawless who used to say, boxing ain't going to be there all the time. So you've got to set yourself up to do, either play golf like Henry Cooper did, do pantomime, do different shows like going Freddie Starr or Lenny Henry, um, Little and Large, and to peck here and there, you know what I mean? Being seen. In this sort of like Celebrity like squares, I saw you on a little while ago actually. Celebrity I forgot all the things what I've done, but you've got to put yourself in that position to keep your name flowing, to keep the, 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 the money coming in and to pay bills. Bills have never run away. Mm -hmm.